Hello everybody and welcome back to FTB Ocean Block. And as you can see behind me, we make ourselves the maximum tier Draconic Evolution Energy Core. This thing is insane. So I hope you enjoy. Okay, so today we're going to be making ourselves our Draconic Evolution Energy Core. Pretty much to store all the power that we are currently generating and be able to store it somewhere and actually be able to transfer it then through a single point instead of having to try and travel it between like a hundred different points. So it will make uh, powering things a lot easier since everything will be able to be connected better. So, to do this, we're going to be making ourselves a tier 8 one, and we're going to need all these items here. So, core or energy core stabilizers, I need 36 of these guys, because they have to be made in a special way, which I'm going to show you right now. How many can I make? 64. Perfect. Upgrade these now to this guy. 64, be more than enough. And I was thinking of doing it, like, in between the island, like, up there. So like energy core, energy core, energy core, or not, uh, stabilizer is not core. And then the core in the center here. So it's like in the water. But there, I did some testing and creative on how to, it, this thing builds just to make sure it's the same from back in like 1.12. And it is. So it also, I think it has an auto build function. If it doesn't, it's going to be very annoying to build. Because it, it's literally 13 by 13. By 13, depending if you count all directions. So... I'm not going to put it out in the water because it doesn't want to build because water is an invalid block and it's in the way. Then I was thinking, why not put it like in one of these rooms? What if I like stick it up there instead and then move the infuser down here? But then I was also wondering, is this room actually going to be tall enough? Because if it's 13 tall from the bottom block, so if we go up 13, like one, actually it comes out six on from the center here. So like just one, two three, four, five, six. So if I was just to get a random building block here, so here's the edge of it, meaning it won't come out any further than here. So there's going to be a two block gap before the glass. Wow, my frame rate dies when I look down the way. It's really bad. Um, Like, why is my frame rate this way? Down this way, it's 20. Out this way, 60. Yeah, it is a bad down there. I'll have to figure out what's causing so much lag. I bet you it's the mob farm. I'm probably going to have to disable that because I think we're more than enough on all the mob items. Yeah. So it comes up six then. So this is one or 13. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 13. Theoretically, it should fit because it's not a square. It should, it gonna, it's going to have like rounded edges. So like, I mean, it'll probably be something like this. So it'll be a gigantic energy orb in here. Just means I'll have to place it on top of the sixth block so that it'll be on the seventh one to put down the actual energy core. So let's get making that. They're pretty simple to make. So energy cores are just energy things like this. So just don't need that many of them. Energy core, this is the centerpiece that we're going right in the middle and we're building everything around. Then we need energy pylons. This is how we're going to input and output power. So if we have energy pylons to input power into the energy core. They stack in four. So I'm going to make eight because I'm going to have four input and four output to maximize our transfer. And then you need glass. But I'm going to wait till the end. So I'm going to put these energy pylons away. And then put these away because they have to be put on last. So, to build this thing then, there's a mixture of Dracon Awakened Draconium and regular Draconium. So, if we just look up Awakened, or just actually just Draconium, from our mob, uh, not mob, our power pots, I've managed to get about 316. And we need 378, but I have about 114 ingots here. So I should have more than enough by the time we need the draconium blocks. So we need 700 of these. Now, hopefully my inventory full is going to be the right amount. And by the looks of it now, if I just break everything set up in here, like so, uh, I'm going to have to store this now. 
Is that everything? Nope, the cable as well. Now, if I find the center of the room, which should be exactly right here, go up six in total. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and put it here. Now, if you look inside, we want to maximize the size, assemble core, found block, draconium block of position. So if we remove the draconium blocks that we've currently put down, and now assemble, oh yes, thank God it has an auto build feature. It'll start using up to the draconium that we are holding in our inventory. And it needs over 700 of it. So you can just see this thing growing in size. Oh my God, this thing's going to be insane. We've gone through about five stacks or six stacks already. Damn, I feel like I'm getting pushed back the way. Missing required. This is how big it'll be before the awakened draconium. Why does it feel like some corners are missing more? Like here, it's like a, an, a plus pattern, but here it's just a regular square. Um, yeah, it's like this side, one side is missing more than the other, but let's go, let's just dig through it and see if we can find our core. Should be somewhere up here. Oh wow, how far deep is this thing? Damn, how, I didn't expect it to be this deep. Where is it? Well, I, I'm after losing this thing. It should be directly straight this way. Maybe up the way now? Ah, there it is. So in here it says you need advanced stabilizers. Now we can't necessarily build it, but there is a build guide, which doesn't really do anything. So that's kind of useless. Um, I built myself into it. Oops. Yeah, okay, so it doesn't take any more. It probably wants to move on to, to Awakened before it goes any further. So I'm going to have to wait for the Awakened to build up. Unless I use up what I currently have. And then maybe wait a little bit longer. I thought it would have enough by now. Ugh, get me out of here. Can I still reach it from here? Yes, I can. Okay, good. Uh, I need to fix that glass now. Because uh, the way how I'm making it so I have so much Dracon Awakened Draconian right now is over here, I did set up like a lot more power pot, just making Awakened Draconium, as you can see. Oh, apparently I missed a pot. Uh, Awakened Draconium. Put that in there. Oops, give me back that. So you can see that I have a load of them set up just making me this. So two of them are a full stack. And even though I had the original ones grown here, but Awakened Draconium, we've only got six things. I swear we're not getting as much as we used to, unless we're running out of power. Oh, it's power that's causing the issue. I should have, yeah, I should have it all by now. I have noticed a couple of issues happening in here. Sometimes this thing just stops running and I don't know why. You know what? I'm going to disable TNT explosion sounds. Generic. Oh my God, that's so much better. So you're okay. You're good. Okay, good, good. It's probably something like the potion one or um, the rocket. No. You've got plenty. And the pearls. Enchant's okay. You're... Oh. Even though you're set up to make nether bricks, you're not making the nether brick. Why is that now? Is that because I am currently smelting like 20,000... Yeah, and I'm smelting 200,000 Draconium. Okay, let me cancel that and let this thing craft it. Because that was the only issue. So, theoretically, now it should be back up and running. Or does it have to finish smelting everything inside the smelter first? We should get it. What's going on over here? Okay, it's just taking a long time to smelt all this. Let me just quickly speed it up. Now that the brick's going through. And so now if we come back over here and have a look at our power... Okay, everything's back to normal, and now it's running. And now we have 18 ingots. Okay, so we are making enough now. Perfect. So let's actually just set up these awakened that we have right now. So let's try and reach in here. Assemble. Yeah, I definitely don't have enough, but you can see it's trying to build it. Oh, this is so satisfying. Look at all the hearts. Because once this is built, it's not going to look like this. It's going to look like a, an atom. 
if you know what I mean. Like all the neutrons flying around it. It's going to look so cool. And I'm out. So we only need like another 30 or so more. And that should be more than enough. Now I just need to dig through here and find the energy core again. <laughs> should be behind this block here. There it is. And as you can see, just after like not even two minutes, we've already gotten 14 ingots or a total of 18 now for two more blocks. So I'm going to sit here and wait for maybe another uh, stack of ingots or something to be made. And then we can rest, make the rest of the blocks and then we'll be able to continue building this. But actually, wait, we know the sides of it now. So we theoretically could sh set up the actual pylons now hang on so stabilizer let's actually make the stabilizers while we're waiting for the rest of the ingots to be made so here is dead center so if we just push this stabilizer here and the way this is made you have to make like a three by three by frame and it makes this and when you right click on it, it says it's invalid at the moment because it's not fully built i need to do this on all four sides so that there goes here that correct yes over here again, what level actually is that? So if I just find the center here and then just build our tree by tree frame, this makes it a lot easier. So this height here, is this right? Yeah. And now once we have the rest of the wake and draconium, it should be ready to go. So at the back here, we're gonna set up the energy transfer. So this is where the energy pylons be coming. So energy pylons. So we also need glass because some reason this needs glass. So if we put down four of these like this, you can see there's arrows pointing in the way, meaning it will point in or fuel or power this guy. By putting glass on top, you get these kind of weird orbs. The actual energy core will look like this, but a lot cooler, more color. So if you right click it, then you can see it changes between an input and an output. So this will be the input. So if we grab ourselves a plug, actually no, a point, because this is where we're going to be sending in power. And now if we put this point right here and say disable limit, but we're going to create ourselves a new network. This is going to be ocean, the so ocean power input. And we're going to make it public. So ocean power input, we're just going to make it blue. And this is where our power w that we're going to be now taking from our mycelial reactors and gas burning generators, we're all going to send it into here. And then we're going to set up another set of these guys uh, somewhere else. Um, actually, I need another spot for this. Maybe if I do a side by side, actually, instead, instead of just in the middle here, let me move it over here. So I'll put these here, put the glass on top, or put the point there, put the glass on top. So that will be input. And then over here, I need a plug. So just grab out another plug, just auto craft this. There we go. And do the same here. Put the plug in here, and this will be our ocean power plug. Put these on top, and now just set them all to export. So you'll take out of the energy core. There we go. How much awakened draconia did that make us? 54 ingots. That's actually quite a lot already. I only made nine ingots though, so it'll still be a while. So I might go over there and just sit where my acceleration wand, speed grow a load more, or even maybe plant a more, lot more pots. But I'll be back once I have enough blocks, maybe another stack of blocks and that'd be more than enough. All right, I should have more than enough now. So yeah, when I was sitting here AFK, I just kind of turned and looked at that like, oh my God, that thing is insane. But yeah, I have a stack in 13 more now, so that should be more than enough now to finish building this thing. So hopefully it is. And if it is correct, this thing should. Oh, it stopped taking things from my inventory. Meaning now if I right clicked and think, oh my God. What does this look like from outside or down here? I need to know what this looks like from up top. That's, of course, it's on the other side. Oh, my God. Look at that. Let me just get the right angle so you can see through the water. Oh. <laughs> that thing is insane. It's huge. Oh, another one. Yeah, I've seen a few of these guys now show up recently, even though I haven't seen one in for ages. But anyway, if we come down here now and go back over to us. 
Oh my god. And this thing can hold almost infinite power. This thing is holds more power than a, you could possibly make with an induction matrix. I don't even know how to even say that number. But this thing will just hold so much power. What does it look like from underneath? It's the sun. <laughs> Right, so we've got a few things to do now. We need to set up all of our things that are extracting out power and now change it to the other ones. So instead of this one being ocean power, this would be ocean power input. Uh, same for this guy. So now he's going to be straight extracting out 25 mil, I think. Even though he doesn't seem to be extracting out any power. Anyway, hopefully everything is still running. And uh, all we need to do now is go into ethylene production, not ethylene production, gas power. And I need to change every single one of these in here. Oh my god, that is loud. Turn him down. Alright, the easiest way to probably do it is if I come out of here now and just go to at flux networks. If we grab ourselves a flux configurator and shift right click, change this to ocean power. Go in here and then just change all of these like this. It's the quickest way to do it. And no power is outputting. Probably because, hang on now, uh, I need to probably configure something over here. So this is output, this is input. Why is this not connecting? Um. Are you actually storing power? No. Maybe if I replace it. And start fresh. Oh, okay. So it has to be built afterwards. So now if we look in here, we're outputting 26.5 million. And this thing is storing it. There is already 5 billion power in here. 7 billion. It's going to take... 551 years at a rate of 26.5 million to fill this thing. Are you kidding me? I need to do the same over here now so it'll extract out power and power our other machines now. So now this will extract out power at a rate that we need it. So now you can see it's adjusted now for the output. So as long as this is a plus, we will never have to worry about running out of power. Now it's going to take 900 years. And this thing is outputting 10.4 to 10.5 million FE. There's still one more place I need to go change the FE output. And that is lava power. Because even though this thing I would consider really producing that much power. Like two, 3,000 maximum. And I never even finished upgrading these guys to maximum. I could still put an auxiliary uh, or a kit in here and it'll still be more but we're not producing enough lava to run and everything so this thing is just whatever so yeah and now we are currently producing that much power like inputting like a couple billion at a time and um, but i still have a feeling that once we upgrade to like tier four power pots this input is still not going to be enough even though it currently is holding 41 billion I have a feeling once we hook up all, upgrade all of our tier twos to tier four, we're going to have to probably set up maybe four or five more micelia reactors. And if that's the case, well, I don't mind doing that. It's just, it's going to be annoying to set up autom and automate. But there we go. Oh my God, this thing is amazing. The only thing left out to do is just refix this thing down here by putting back down our infuser. So at Draconic... Evolution, all I need is my fusion crafting, not a book. Fusion crafter and all of our draconic uh, waver infusion. And you know what, while we're at it, let's actually upgrade these guys to the next tier. Because once I upgrade them to this draconic one, I'll be able to make the next power pot. Because pot, if we look in here, next power pot tier 3 does require draconic. But of course, tier 4 does require chaos. So we might have to go fight the chaos dragon soon. But before we do that, I want to start Botania 
and yes, like automated mana production, automate the mana pools to make mana diamonds, mana steel. Actually, technically, mana steel is already being made by the seeds. But anything that needs to be made in mana or in Botania will automate. So like um, ele Elementium, once we get a few of them, it'll be grand. But it's mainly just the mana diamonds because I need four or two stacks of mana diamonds to be able to make our tier three power pots, as you can see. So I'm going to need like about four stacks of this stuff. Maybe even six stacks. Anyway, so let's put this down now. So let's just grab us in cable. And run this now. So nine like this. And then put the point. Grab these. And put this guy here. There we go. Now he's set up again. So to upgrade now. So Draconic Infuser. It's going to require Wavering Core's diamonds, uh, four stacks of diamonds, and Awaken Draconium blocks. So, I need blocks. I need, was it was it these purple cores? Yeah, so I just grab a stack of them. Oh, that's not where near enough. That should give me about 16 more. So, there we go. And what was the other one? Diamonds. How much diamonds do we have now? Because I think we only had like 2k last time I looked. Okay, we have about 6k now. Uh, we have more diamond seeds than we do diamonds. That's ridiculous. Anyway, so split the diamonds. So, so you get that, you get that. Split these in half. Uh, you get this and you get that. And then the next part, what was it again? Oh, it was four stacks of diamonds. Let me just split these up uh, evenly. Oops. What? What? Why is it jumping out of my inventory? There we go. That was weird. And now the draconium blocks. So if I put that there, break this, put this in here. Craft, how long does it take? Uh, it still takes a while, but it is pulling out as much power as it needs. I still can't get over this thing. It's huge. And it's amazing. I'm surprised it fits. I was, wasn't sure this thing was going to fit. And there we go. We have ourselves a Draconic Fusion Crafter. Now I just need to do this for all of them. All right, now they're all upgraded. So now with this, we can upgrade to our tier three power pots. We can now make our draconic weapons. So we will be fighting the chaos dragon probably after next episode, because next episode we're going to do what Tania, get that all set up so we can just make any, all the mana diamonds to make the power tree or tier three power pots. But before we go fight the chaos dragon, we'll have to make the armor and I'll have to look into what augments here would probably be the best for us. And this staff of power, I want to know how that is because this sword is nowhere near as strong as this sword, since this thing does 47 attack damage. So I'll have to see, like, I'll definitely make the Draconic tools just to look at them, because they're pretty cool looking. And even a Chaos Sword, they just do barely that much more a difference in power. Maybe the Chaos Staff of Power might actually be a bit different. But maybe we'll be end up moving all of our tools down in just one now. We probably won't even need this pack still now soon. So I'll be reading up on what uh, attachments here be the best for our armor. And we'll make this go kill the Chaos Dragon. And then we'll get to work on starting to set up automation for all of our final creative items. Because it's kind of getting close to it now. So I'm going to end it there. Hope you all enjoyed. And if you did, don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. Hope to see you on the next episode. So without further ado, goodbye.